It's still waiting on the punch. What's up, Sean? Just waiting on like six people to pay. I don't know why everyone's paying slow tonight. We're getting ready. the same. Four left, all right, come to the wall. Almost there. Three left. Yeah. 
Three left. See where we are. Still the same. Swing on four more teams to pay. Alright, there's just two more left, but we'll just get going. I know the two names, so they're always on here, so we're starting now, Sean. I was waiting on two more, but um, they didn't pay it, but I know both of them, or at least they break with us often, so let's get rolling. Alright, uh, eight box. Half case. Today is what? May 20th. It is 9.59. Let's go. Box number one. Let's see. See that code right there? That's the case code, so I'll show you on the other ones. All these will have the same barcode because they're all from the same case. All right. Box one, pack one. Let's go. It's called two autos the other night. They were both paper autos. The one was purple, um, but from what I've 
gathered so far, it seems like each case will have a few uh, paper autos, and then sometimes they'll, they'll usually have one chrome, so we'll see what happens. There we go, Cleveland Indians, Mr. Francisco Lindor, 30th anniversary, Fernando Tatis, Bo Bichette, can't wait for him to come up. Blue Jays, Brewer, Brewer McLean, Dustin May, and Frank Malone. Show him who you got tonight. Oh, this feels good. Jake Bowers, Corbin Burns, Verlander, Furios, Eric Hosmer. Took the sun up, and we already got some green. Oh, there's a little. Wander Franco, too bad he wasn't green. But out of 99, 30th anniversary insert. Put these here. Miguel Amaya. Number 12 of 99. Attaboy, are they winning right now? I stopped watching, it was 2 0. Got a TV up here. So, second pack already got Miguel Maya. Put that up here. Jump it over here. Maya, first hit. And we'll sleeve up this. Actually, wait, let's finish that pack. Logan Allen. Paper. Brian McKenna Chrome. Panic. Victor Mason. By the way, I figured out, I'm not sure if anyone else knew this, but uh, there are two Victor Mesas on the Marlins. There's Victor, Victor Mesa, and then there's Victor Mesa Jr. 4-3 bottom 8 Mets, or... Callaway really dropped the hammer today by Benjamin Cano. And if you're going to do that, pull him out of the game yesterday. Thank God, they need to win. Especially they got Strasburg and uh, Scherzer coming up. Alright. Greg Keller, Castellanos, Mr. Jacob DeGrom, Marte Stanton, J.D. Martinez, all paper. MJ Melendez Chrome. There you go. Mr. Eloy Jimenez. Number two of the top 100 already in the majors. Adonis Medina. Kevin Smith. Chrome. Navali Marte. Andres Jimenez. These Mets are killing me, man. I gotta tell you, it's... It's hard to... It's hard to deal with it. Every freaking game is something new. Cespedes today, but he fractured his ankle on his ranch. And the guy can't play baseball, but he can do whatever he's doing on a ranch to fracture his ankle. Josh James. Here we go. Kevin Pala. I don't think he's on the Blue Jays anymore, is he? Uh, number two out of four ninety nine. Insane, right? It's like the guy's already a you know a headache that he's not coming back, and now he fractures his ankle. Callaway is like, I don't know. I've never been a fan. I think he's a fantastic pitching coach. He obviously proved that in, you know, with the Mets so far and obviously with uh, Cleveland prior, but just the moves he makes. I mean, even yesterday, he just didn't double switch. It's like, it's like children's play. But he's got to figure his shit out. Alright, Brewers, Yelich, Will Myers, there's a base pillar. Molina, Reed Foley for the Blue Jays, Brandon Lowe, paper, 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 finally some chrome. Yes, Neil Diaz, ready for the show. Brandon McKay, looks like he's pitching there. He's also a hitter, like Mr. Otani. Let's see if that follows through for him. Alec Bohm, 
Blaze Alexander, and Reggie Lawson. Chrome paper paper. Last pack, first box. Dakota Hudson, Danny Jansen, Kyle Wright. Cody, all I do is hit Bellinger. Here we go. Chrome, Jared Kalenic. Should have been on the Mets. Instead, we got little Mr. Hustle. Zach Collins, Chrome, Michael Byers, and Jimenez Pipa. That was box number one. Box two. I remembered my cutter. I've been using that scissor every week. Panini was nice enough to, even though this is top spray, Panini was nice enough to send us that. Here's that code I was talking about. Again, same code on all the boxes. Empty. Box two. So far, one green chrome. Let's get some ink on green chrome. That'd be nice. Miguel Cabrera, Jose Abreu, Mr. Chris Archer, Marcus Stroman, Christian Stewart, Luis Guillaume, Dakota Hudson, number 60 of the top one hundo, Daniel Johnson paper, Dylan Cease, Colton Welker just went yard the other day, Brewer Hickman, and Royce Lewis. Jay Cave. Mr. Otani, Jose Ramirez, JT can't hit anymore, Remuto, Matt Chapman, Mitch Hanniger. There we go. Chrome for the Twins, Brent Rooker. Ready for the show, Talent Pipeline, Trevor Stevens, well, Steven, Chance Adams, and Esteban Floreal, which the Yankees have successfully not had to use any of these guys to win every freaking game. Anthony K. Paper. Alex Faido, Chrome, Paper, Mixon's L, he's good. Andor, Mookie Betts, Albies, Loreno, Baraki, Chance Adams again. There we go, Ryan Weathers. There you go, Mr. Chris Bryan, he's heating up. Jim Thompson. There's my boy, Peter Alonso Chrome. Nate Pearson, Travis Swaggerty. I like these 30th anniversary cards. Let's do that. Justice Sheffield. Cedric Mullins. Delia, De Los Santos, Frankie, Suarez, Anderson, Nolan Gorman, Sean Murphy Chrome, Carter K. Boom, thank you, Carter, Brent Honeywell, and Forrest Whitley. Good Chris Davis. Brandon Crawford, Ronald Guzman, Bryant, I like this guy, Trey Mancini, Armas Garcia, paper, paper, finally some chrome, oh god, <laughs> it's insane, right, I, you can't even make it up, I, but the best part is you know that Cespedes was doing something extremely stupid, yes, I agree, the Mets are completely cursed, but you know he was like riding a horse and trying to stand on it or something, I just don't know, like, how do you, how do you, I mean, to fracture your ankle, like, you don't, you don't just trip, you know what I mean, like, you gotta, you gotta put some effort into that. Rowdy Tellez, Mr. Trout, Sorry, Lord, Chris. Jojo Romero, I feel like, I mean, you can't even make it up, it's getting to the point where it's like, every morning I wake up and I look at my phone, it's like, I, I wait to see what the next thing is with the Mets, I mean, Conforto gets concussion, same game, uh, McNeil was out, then you're hyping yourself up that, well, maybe 
at least. Cespedes will come back. Oh, big time. <laughs> big time police events. But I will say, and I'm, this is me just talking as a Met fan, but I know Mets fans, lots of us are totally against Cespedes, but that show he put on when he first came to the team was awesome. I mean, without him, you don't you even come close to making you know, the playoffs, let alone the World Series. I mean, him and Daniel Murphy, it was a one-man show. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie is the smartest baseball player to ever live. I mean, when he told the, the Wilpons to pay him an annuity, they were like, yeah, sure, we'll give you that. Exactly. I mean, listen, I, the guy drives me crazy because he's, I hate lazy players. I mean, listen, I, I mean, Robinson Cano, Cespedes, they are literally, you know, two of the better players in baseball. But the fact that they're just always jogging and walking, it's like torturous. Always hurt. And Cespedes, it's like the guy sneezes and he tears an ACL. Oh, yeah. You know, Bonilla sits there and watches the games. They might as well bring him into a game. I mean, make it fun. This is just a paper, but I'll sleep it up. Um, I mean, at this point, I mean, you got to imagine that. I mean, what is Nemo batting? Like, 190? You're telling me you bring Bobby Boney in, he can't bat 190? Maybe he will bat less only because he can't run the first. I mean, he's probably huge now. He's not that old. He's not in his 20s, but he's not like he's 50. That guy's got a great swing. It's just that he's lazy. I mean, you can't. That play yesterday, I, I don't care what excuse they make for him. Mauricio Bowman first. You know, it, he hit the ball right in front of himself, and it stayed fair the whole time. I love Nimmo. You gotta love the guy who sprints to first base when he walks, but he's gotta just figure it out too. I mean, he can't bat under 200, especially that's not like him. I mean, he's got like one of the better eyes. He's like a guy that he usually gets those long at bats. Even if he strikes out, he gets you know, eight, nine pitches. But to, for him to strike out, him, you know, he looks, he gets four pitches thrown to him and he's done. It can't happen. Chris Davis, Crawford. Guzman. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yankees do that to a lot of people. But I, I thought that, you know, I thought Cano coming back to New York, getting out of the, getting out of Seattle, you know, he seems so fired up. But it's hard to tell. I mean, the guy, he's just, I, I don't even want to call it lazy. He's just lackadaisical in nature. But he's got such a sweet swing. It's, I mean, he's gonna go on a you know one of those runs, you know, where he just hits you. You know, he has a month where he hits six, seven home runs or more, whatever it is. But well, here we go, got a little something coming up. Bryce Wilson, D.J. Stewart, Rowdy Tellez, Mr. Trout, Scuda, Perez. There we go. Zach Collins, big Zach. I don't know. If, I don't think he was called up yet. He was, I think, the second pick in the draft, I want to say, 2017, 18, or... Round, 2016, round one, 10th overall, Zach Collins. That was close. I like this guy. Sparkle, numbered 115 out of 299 for the White Sox. If you got the White Sox, you got that. Ryan Villade Chrome Paper Paper. This card's messed up. Got a little dent in the corner. But I mean when the Mets get anybody, it's like that's why Cespedes was so awesome. So it's like when, when was the last time we got somebody that like instantly had impact? Everybody we trade for. I mean to think that like we almost that our big trade that year almost was Carlos Gomez, and now he's on the team, and he's, the guy stinks, but, I 
yeah, I mean, think about all these all the Mets prospects. I mean, who, we, who do we? I mean, Gomez. I mean, he had a pretty good career, but if we got rid of him. Uh, what's his name? Lasting's Millage. That guy was good for nothing. And that guy was supposed to be the next Willie Mays. They hyped him up so much he couldn't even hit a grounder. They certainly are cursed. This dude just came up. Big fan of him. I hope he does really well because I have a bunch of his autos. Andrew Krinzer. Miguel Maya. Chrome paper paper. That's why when the Mets went to the World Series a few years ago, it was like they went on what is with these bottom cards? All the bottom cards have like a little dent in it. There he is, Mr. Three. Well, he was batting 350. I don't think he's anymore. McNeil. Shaw. Kyle Tucker. Arenado. Mr. Kershaw. Rosario. He had a dinger tonight. Rogers. Christian Pache. Quintrell. <laughs> I gotta give Bill Buckner a little slack. I mean, the guy. That was a horrible play. I mean, come on. At the worst possible time, but the game was tied. Yeah, so that was just that was just the icing on the cake. They already blew a lead. You ever see the uh, the Kirby enthusiasm with when he uh, when they they bring Bill Buckner onto the show? Does that usually for some reason on my phone? Once we get through the fifth box, sorry about that delay. I'm um, now I'm on LTE and it works. Okay. Okay. Is that better? Back. All right. Live. This one here. Okay. Uh, fourth box. Right. That's a good episode. That was such a good episode. Oh, Jason Bay. But you, you knew Jason Bay wasn't going to work because when Jason Bay was on the Pirates, he was really he was really good. Then he started this sort of fade, and then he goes to Fenway, where it's like anybody that's they're they're a good player that their career is fading a little bit, you know, just puts the ball off the wall. They their average goes up, you know, twenty points. But you you just knew that them getting Jason Bay was a bad idea. I mean, who else? Granderson wasn't that bad. I mean, he was okay. I mean, if you want to talk about horrible signings, I mean, uh, Oliver Perez, that was like, that one still hurts. I, we're probably still paying him to play some, I think he's on the Angels now. To think that out of everybody the Mets had from that, that, play, that year, what was it, 2006? Whatever the year it was, to, all the guys that were on that team, Oliver Perez is the last, the last man standing. Oh yeah, I would shit I could hit it if I might. I mean if you if you're a guy that's why I, I thought it was crazy that you got rid of Hanley Ramirez. I mean you'd think that a guy like Hanley would just make a living off of putting it off the wall. <laughs> I beat you to it. Yeah, Alva Perez is, I hear his name it hurts. See, the problem is the Mets they're like like the Knicks, 
Okay, look at look at the next deal. They they get rid of uh, get rid of Felton, both blue and orange. Yeah, two thousand six. They both blue and orange. The, the the Knicks draft Felton, get rid of Felton, and then what happens? They get him back, and he's the worst freaking player ever. Here we go. This is Royce Lewis. Yep, Royce Lewis, thirtieth anniversary. You know, and then he sucked. I mean, the guy who was the worst defender ever. Then Tim Hardaway Jr. They trade him away. They get him right back. And then what do they do? Get rid of him. It's the same. The Knicks, the Mets, now my Jets. It's like I can't do anything. If you're blue and orange or you rhyme with Ets or you end with Ets, it's like a, a guaranteed failure. I mean, how do you go give a, a GM millions of dollars, millions of dollars to use and go through a whole draft and then you find him? Vince Coleman. Oh my god. Vince Coleman. Ricky Henderson. We had so many good players though, it sucks. That's why it's like when you look at the team now, it's hard to to find something amazing about it. But Nico Fordo's good. Nemo you gotta like but there's no like there's no cesspus, you know what I mean? It's, you need that one guy that just like scares the hell out of the whole order. I mean, McNeil's a hell of a hitter, but you can't think McNeil's you know, is a game changer. You know, he's gonna get you on base. He's gonna hit at the right time, but he's not. I mean, bases loaded, bottom of the ninth. I mean, he could he hit you a single, but if you're down by three, he's not hitting you the home run. Yeah, Jets are Jets. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to even list my teams on, on Facebook Live. Martinez. There we go. Mick Mandrigal. Number 23 out of the top 100 for the White Sox. We're going to get a more color. It's been a while. Deal Hole. I just need like a week to go by. Without like any bad Jets news, Mets having something stupid happen. You know, at least the Islanders made it to the playoffs, but that didn't last long. Kyle Wright, Carpenter, Kiel Franco, Bellinger, John Duplanter. <laughs> so you got just as bad as me. <laughs> the winning streak is live. Now we just gotta win four in a row. The only thing the Mets got going for them right now, well, the only thing, one of the big things is that the rest of the division right now sucks. I mean, everybody sucks. I mean, the Nationals are horrible. The, the Marlins are disgusting. We got swept by the Marlins, but the Marlins are pathetic. The Braves aren't even playing good. The Phillies, you know, they're they're going to be a live and die by the home run team. Yeah, I know. That's why uh, what Rosen was doing there. That's my favorite part about the whole draft was the Giants. But you know, because I'm a Jets fan and I. I'd rather the Giants lose. Um, you know that'll be end up being like the greatest draft of all time. But yeah, it's gonna be fun watching the uh, the East. Will Myers, Pla, Molina, Foley, Brandon Moe, Dakota Hudson. Ready for the show, Brent Honeywell. Are we gonna get some color or what? Joey Wentz, Jesus Sanchez. Oh my god, Daniel Jones. The, the guy that sits across from me at work is like, I'm not even sarcastic when I say this. He's the biggest Giants fan on planet Earth. I mean, this guy knows, like, he knows every stat of every player. It's it's crazy. And yeah, when with the first thing, when he walked in, he didn't even have anything to say. It was such a horrible pick. And listen, it, I'm a big fan of 
especially, you know, if you're going for a quarterback, that if you want the guy, you know, you can't, like, really hesitate to wait. Here we go. What do we got here? Green paper. Jose Barrios, numbered 91 of 99. Christian Yelich, unbelievable, right? You want to talk about a, a team that could have what what they could have been? How sick that they, the Marlins had Stanton, Yelich, and Ozuna. That's that's the worst. But yeah, the Daniel Jones thing. I mean, I'm a believer in going after the guy that you want, but. You could have got him on the second day. I mean, you could. It's not like somebody was like sitting there, waiting to jump, to, you know, jump you and get him. You could have. And the other big thing, listen, Saquon Barkley is probably the best running back in football, or if he's not, he will be. But if you're going to draft a quarterback this year, last year was the was loaded. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't get more, you know, top name quarterbacks. That, you know, big possibilities. In one draft, and you skip and you don't draft the quarterback. <laughs> if, the, if the Mets had Yelich, you wouldn't know. You you would only know his name because he would have been a trade that didn't work out, or a pickup that didn't work out. Let's see, look here we go. This is what I was saying before. Where is he? Look. Only the Marlins could successfully have two guys with the same exact name. Victor, Victor. I mean, this guy's got the same name. But Victor Mesa Jr. and Victor, Victor Mesa. That's the only way you could be worse than the Mets is by actually being the Marlins. But they actually swept the Mets. But still, look at that. Who names their kid Victor, Victor? And how do you draft two guys with the same exact name and the same exact the jerseys are cool. I'm a big fan of the jerseys. I even like the last ones. But to lose them, it's like... That was, it was just... It's like watching a Little League team. JK. Show high. The Challenger. Hey, here we go. Finally, some chrome. Adam Hastley. Purple. Number 21... Out of 250. Not bad. Good looking card. 21 out of 250. Paper, paper. I mean, like, really think about, like, Derek Jeter goes into the Marlins. You know, uh, work for the Marlins and his first line of duty is to get rid of that year's MVP the following year's MVP you know uh, technically one of the better catchers in baseball uh, Zuna I mean I guess you could say maybe if the Jose Fernandez died that was like a falling apart but Jeter I mean he went in there to sabotage us. I don't get it. How do you, if you're gonna rebuild, I mean, you can't really get any better than that. So, why were you, what are you rebuilding? Go out there and sign some pitchers. Chrome Griffin Canning, Angels, 30th anniversary, Joe Adele. Paul Tucker, paper, paper. <laughs> um, Brewers. Not yet. Phillies, White Sox, Twins. What's the Royals? Oh, 
Oh, Cubs, just Cubs. Blue Jays. <laughs> Cedric Mullins. Adrian Morjohn. Kyle Wright, Rookie of the Year favorites. Braves, Tristan McKenzie, Jose De La Cruz, Carter Cabum, and Cole Wynn. I love those teams though, I love the teams that, that they don't have a lot in the set, because when you hit like, uh, when you get like a crazy number card, I remember when I did a, I did a, I was in a break, I want to say two years ago, and the Rockies had like four cards. I bought them for like three dollars on Mojo Break. And I got um a t I didn't even know it was it, it was a, it existed, but a Tolowitzki uh, Redemption card, and it was I sold the card for like three fifty. It's awesome. It was ended up being out of five. It's very cool. You never know. All it takes is one. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, Logan Allen, top 100, number 90 out of 100. Anthony K. Christian Javier, on first Chrome. DJ Peters. He looks like a. Uh, like, uh, I don't know why. I have a brain for what that guy's name did last time too. Deval Lugo, Bowers, Corbin Burns, Verlander, Barrios, Hosmer, Tassant. There he is. Mr. Vlad. Oh, what's behind here? Oh, I thought that was another Vlad. Vlad. Sixto Sanchez. I feel like we got him last time too. Green Refractor, numbered 57 out of the 99. Phillies putting together a little bit of a rainbow. They got the purple Adam Hasley. And now Sixto Sanchez Green. I wish they completed the border of these cards, you know? I feel like they all look off center. That's the best. There's nothing better than buying the three dollars. You see that? Uh, I saw on Twitter that dude that bought a uh, tops pack, like a hanger pack or something like that, and he pulled like the uh, uh, I want to say like a Honus Wagner cut, you know, autograph one on one out of a hanger pack. Like the fact that tops even put that in there is is a disgrace. And people are spending hundred dollars on big boxes, and they buy a three dollar pack, and they get a huge card. But I guess, listen, it keeps retail alive. Speaking of retail, anybody, anybody have any luck with the the Bowman Mega boxes? I've been to my three targets. I mean, I've actually been to four. Once a little further away, but I've been to all three like ten times. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nothing. Yeah, look on uh, on Twitter. I think it was it was like a couple of weeks ago. People were talking about it nonstop. There he is, Fernando Tatis, I believe. Yep, Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, the guy. I think the guy made it. Put it, videoed it. I think he did. Um, but I saw it on. I saw it on uh, Twitter. The guy posted like a photo of the card with the, the receipt of the and whatever that he bought from Target. Yeah, they're hard to find. They're they're nineteen. The Bowmans are nineteen ninety nine. Um, but the, yeah, they have the two packs, the two mega packs. But uh, 
they have the two mega packs in it, but you know the boxes are selling on eBay for like fifty bucks, forty bucks. They're good. I mean, it's they have uh, the flat autos in there and everything. Kramer, Newman, Kramer and Newman. I think they did that on purpose. Oh, and both on the pirates. Seinfeld spoke of Kirby enthusiasm and Seinfeld the same break Justice Sef Sheffield rookie of the year favorites Daniel Johnson yeah I like that Tatis those I love those the 30th anniversary cards anyway I mean this, these are nice I feel like you know, it looks good pretty clean you see there's like a little I don't know if that could be buffed out or if it's just like the printer I don't know why you think that they would have like a better process but I know people clean cards all the time when it comes right out <laughs> yeah I know Rosario Luria Damis so to Juan Christian Hira Alex Scherf number eighty in the top one hundred Taylor Trammell Rylan Rylan Bannon just throw an L in that throw an L in there make up a new name last pack this box. Neil Duger Giants yeah I really like the anniversary cards I the uh, we had there was a cracked ice one last week it was so awesome oh here we go we got after this pack for the Red Sox another green this is cool talent pipeline number 44 of 99 Brian Matta Bobby Dalback and Josh Okimi. Nice green. So, so far, the we got a green 30th anniversary and a green talent pipeline. And a green Sixto Sanchez. And we got, I think we got a green paper too, right? So, yeah, Jose Brios. Oh, it's a green. All right, two boxes left. Up oh, and a knockdown. What once was green is now knockdown. Purple goes back there. It looks good in green, but I'm telling you, the, the, uh, the cracked ice one is awesome. Just because the silver looks good, so once you put that cracked ice in, it looks much better. Got to clean this room with that. It's a lot of, it's a lot of boxes. All right, box seven. Jake Bowers, Corbin Burns, Berlanda, Barrios, Hosmer, Tassant, Genesis, Genesis, Rookie to your favorites, Kyle Tucker. Is he even in the major leagues yet? Justin Dunn, should have been a Met. From Freeport, New York. Yep. 2016 draft was good. Ryan Castillo. Chrome. Ronaldo Hernandez. And Mr. Boba Shit. Come on, let's get 
get some ink, man. Lots of green, man. I love a green auto. I like the... All the inserts are good this year, man. They look nice. Edward Cabrera. Oh, so if you got the Cubs, you have the green. And you have the base silver. Logan Webb, Bowman first. Chrome. Paper, paper. Oh, they already sent it back down. He'll be good. The Astros always have good prospects. I mean, the fact that they have I mean, Correa, Springer, what's his name, Bregman. It's like unbelievable. Uh, and what's his name was theirs too, the little guy. Hey, there we go. Not the raise auto you want, but it's an auto. Tobias Myers. It's a paper, though. Either way, Tobias Myers. 2016 round six, 181st draft pick. Pretty good numbers. 10 and 6. So if you have the Rays, I know you were, weren't really hunting Tobias Myers, but it's always nice to walk away with an auto. Vlad and J. Groom. Tobias Myers. The Toby Bryant. There we go, Tobias. There you go, Tobias. Put you up here. I respect the Vladimir Guerrero Hunter. Put that over here. Longo, Amos, Soto, Whit Merrifield, Tyler Ward, Kramer, Nico Horner, there he is, Nixon Zell, he's up, I like this guy, I got a lot of his stuff, hopefully he's good, Corey Ray, Brian Matta, Chrome, Beto Diaz, Neil always leading off where he should be. Dugar, Chris Shaw, Kyle Tucker, Arenado, Clayton, Rosario, Franklin Cleome, Chrome, Prospect, Mets, Austin Beck, Mr. Peter Lambert, Chrome, Dylan Cease, and Roberto Ramos. Last pack. I'm working on it, man. I hope I pull everything you want. I love getting color, man. That's the best. Any yellowish. Yeah. Any auto is good. Oh, what do we got here? I don't know. If that might just be ready for the show. Kuna. Yeah. Will Smith, Fresh Prince, ready for the show. Those are cool cards too. Nolan Gorman, Dustin May Chrome, Albert Breu Chrome, Forrest Whitley, and Peter Lambert. All right, we are down to the last and final box. Box eight. Lots of color. Let's get one more big hit. Let's go over the bang. This was a good case. We had a lot of color last week. We had two autos last week. Um, another auto tonight, so hopefully we get one more. Show me some chrome. Once again, still that same, same barcode, see? 
Last and final box, box eight. Here we go. Let's finish strong. Bryce Wilson, DJ Stewart, Torres, Mike Trout, Scuda, Salvador, Jonathan, India, Keegan Thompson, Paper. Dane Dunning, Chrome, Swaggerty, and Honeywell, Paper Paper. Chris Davis, Crawford, Guzman, Chris Bryant, Trey Mancini, Ryan Helsley, Chrome, Nolan Jones, another guy I like. 85 out of 100, top 100, Nolan Jones, Anthony K. Paper, Elise Robert, this guy I really like a lot, he's a guy worth buying, Nixon Zone, Peterson, come on, show me something good, in here, Justice Sheffield, Mullins, Asiga, Del Santos, Cranky, Suarez, Brian. Oh, here we go. Hey, the Marlins. Just the Chrome Refractor out of 4.99. Nick Niedert. Sticky Nicky. Drafted second round in 2015. 60th overall. Well, that guy's got a pretty decent career going. 30 and 18. And 491. So if you got the Marlins, you got that refractor. Ethan Hawkins, Chrome, Bryce Lewis, Martinez. Yeah, me too, man. I hate when they just they just rip through the packs. I mean, I know this takes longer, but listen, you're paying for it. You might as well see what's in the packs. I hate when they just cut the deck and go right to the middle. And now look. Yeah, I mean, we could do this break in five seconds, but you might as well see what you're getting. I'm mailing it all out anyway, so might as well get your money's worth. Lindor, Mookie Betts, Alves, Reno, Baraki, Chance Adams. Hey, Fernando. Sleep that up. Hey, this is nice. I love this guy too. Boba Shit. These 30th anniversaries are awesome. They really are nice cards. Ethan Hawkins, Andrew Kinsler. First. Eloy I, I did one off eBay a while ago and the guy literally I mean it, the break it was a full case I mean it probably took like a half hour he literally just cut the deck like it was like it was a playing card cut the deck and pulled out the two middle cards you know if you're gonna do that just don't break regular boxes. Break, break like the uh, H HTA boxes where it's just autographs. You know, the HTAs are great. I mean, you just open it up, and get three autos, and move on with the day. But if you buy a a box with that with you know full packs in it, you want to see what's inside. Otani. Said home run on Tony here the other day. It was like 8,000 feet in the air. Jay Groom. He's a nice one. Talent Pipeline. Hunter Green, poor guy. Got hurt again. Shed Long. And Nixon Zell. There's a good Talent Pipeline. TJ Peters, aka Jason North's clone. Paper, paper. 
San Diego. San Diego. Last pack, everybody. So I'm the same way. Listen, if you, if you like the speed, you hop on the speed brakes. If you like seeing what you get, that's what I'm here for. Last and final pack, everybody. Thank you for joining. We were planning on having two of these breaks this week. We're doing the, um, what is it? Uh, the prison basketball half case tomorrow. The half cases of the prison basketball are 10 boxes. Tops does 16 boxes in their case. Prison uh, Panini does 20. So tomorrow's uh, 10 box. I think Frank might do it, but his, you know, he's taking care of his mom. He's not feeling well. And top 108 Pearson, number 74. So if you like basketball, that's on. If not, we will be back definitely next week with another half case of this. Christian Javier, first Bowman Chrome. And Sandro Fabian and Blaze Alexander. And that's it. I'll do a quick recap for you guys. Thanks again for joining the break here. I'm running a one man show right now, so it's hopefully I get this all mailed out for you tomorrow. Lots of cards to sort, but I'll do a quick recap. Lots of green tonight. Green, 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 green. Hopefully, if you're selling these cards, they're worth some green. All right. Only auto of the night, Tobias Myers, Toby Bryant, um, Zach Collins, number 150 out of 299, Spark War Fracker, a hey, paper, Kevin Pillar, number 2 out of 499, a paper, green, Jose Barreras, number 91 out of 99. Talon Pipeline for the Red Sox, Mata, Dalbeck, and Okimi, numbered 44.99. For the Cubs, Miguel Amaya, number 12.99. Sixto Sanchez for the Phillies, number 57.99. Adam Hastley, purple for the Phillies, number 21 of 250. And just some random stuff that I decided to sleeve up. Uh, Bo Bichette. Fernando, Nick Niedert, oh, I forgot that, Nick Niedert, numbered 337 out of 499, Chrome, Fractor, this is sweet, there's your Fernando Tatis, 30th anniversary, Mr. Vlad Guerrero Jr., just Chrome, and Wander Franco, two, uh, one paper, one Chrome. Alright guys, thanks a lot, I will upload this video to YouTube sometime tomorrow morning, early afternoon. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. If not, hopefully see you back next time. Thanks a lot.